The Steinway Design Essex Piano Uprights will range in size anywhere from 44 inches to 48 inches. Here's an example of a 45 inch in a furniture style cabinet, which is called a traditional Sheraton Mahogany. It has the double folding fallboard that comes down that will cover your keys. Full length music rack as well, interior-wise, the mute bar that when I press on the middle pedal, it drops down the mute bar and quiets the sound. All of the Essex pianos are built with a low-tension scale design, and that offers the, the performer a nice, warm, long-sustaining tone. That is a Steinway patent. This particular piano is a 48 inch studio piano in a polished ebony finish. As well, it has the double folding fallboard. And on this one here, you can actually lock the fallboard along with the lid of the instrument. And as we pan over here to our left, we can see that here is another finish. This is a 48 inch Studio Essex piano that is in a satin ebony finish with the sterling package, meaning all the hardware is done in nickel plated. All the hardware, including the casters. It has the split top on it with the nickel plated hinge and it also has the mute bar inside. Now there are two other features that I want to talk to you a little bit about with the Essex uprights. Number one is this is a display of their action, one of the keys in the instrument. This is what happens when you press on the key. Now if you will notice that all of these parts on the interior of the piano are all solid hardwoods. That is hard rock maple. Hard rock maple is impervious to the environment. It does not expand and contract, and it's very stable. This is very important to the pianist because the hammer has to strike the string at the precisely the same spot every time. By being made out of hard rock maple, that ensures that of happening. Now the other important feature is, directly, is taken directly from the Steinway upright and that is with the staggered back post. And here's a great example on the back of an Essex studio. You see there are one, two, three, four, five. They're not evenly spaced out like you will see on other pianos. The reason why is because the way the tension is pulling down on the strings, you will find a greater degree of tension over in this section and on the bass section of the instrument. So this disperses the load on the back of the piano and maintains better tuning stability. These are very thick, solid back posts made out of spruce. Let me let you hear a little bit of what one of these pianos will sound like.